We got the money for you today, lady. I have the money. We have the money. I am the man that going to take it over to you. I will be the one for you today. You have to send that eight hundred and fifty dollars to receive the prize. Why are you laughing? Why the f are you laughing? You don't want your mind. Wagwan people, welcome back to another Yardi TV news headlines. So people, in our first story of today, the headline reads, Jamaican wanted on murder charge arrested at Florida airport after trying to flee the US. So this man is on the screen right now. He is a Jamaican man who was being sought in relation to the murder of a man in Nashville, United States. He was arrested on Sunday while trying to flee the country on a flight out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The man's name, Brandon Swaby, age 20, was attempting to fly home to Jamaica according to the release from the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department on Sunday. A Nashville arrest warrant has since been issued charging Swaby with criminal homicide in relation to last Tuesday's murder of 22-year-old Christopher Brandon McVeigh on Donaldson Pike near Nashville International Entrance. Police in Nashville reported that McVeigh made an arrangement through Facebook Marketplace on Monday, April 4, to trade his BMW sedan for Swaby's Dodge Charger. The following evening, the BMW which was being driven by McVeigh broke down on Donaldson Pike resulting in the man continuing the journey by driving a relative's SUV motor car. A dispute later ensued between both men during which McBay was fatally shot inside the SUV. Further reports are that Swaby traveled to Atlanta at some point after the homicide. He flew this morning, which was Sunday morning, from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale where he was taken into custody by U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents with assistance from federal partners, said the release from the Nashville police. Swaby will be held in Broward County, Florida jail, pending his return to Nashville. Teachers and students shocked as parent beat security guard at Coronaldi Primary. Scores of children at the Coronaldi Primary School in St. James were left traumatized on Monday afternoon following an incident where a parents used a baton to inflict several blows to the body of a security guard at the institution. Following the incident, the security guard was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he has since been undergoing treatment for the injuries sustained. The severity of his condition is unknown at this time. Reports are that about 4.15 p.m. following the dismissal of school, a disagreement developed between the security guard and a parent who apparently had made his way onto the school compound in an attempt to retrieve his child. However, given the school's policy that students should be picked up at the gate, the security officer in a bid to prevent him from going any further tried to escort the parent back to the gate. That seemingly did not go down well with the parent. When the security was releasing children through the gate, he stepped in through the gate and the security walked him down with his baton and was barring him and he took it from the security officer and started to beat the officer. A member of the Parents Teachers Association was also present at the school at the time. The PTA representative described the situation as a total disrespect to the school and to the security officer. This has left teachers and other individuals connected to the institution upset and they are now calling for justice to be meted out to the parent for the attack. Woman hospitalized following St. Thomas crash. A woman has been hospitalized after the motor vehicle in which she was traveling collided with a truck along a section of the southern coastal highway 
in St. Thomas. It is reported that about 7 o'clock, the driver of a white Nissan AD wagon and his female passenger were traveling in a westerly direction towards Kingston. Upon reaching a section of the highway, the driver attempted to overtake a truck which was traveling directly in front of him. The driver of the Nissan reportedly lost control of the car, causing it to hit the truck before slamming into the median and coming to a halt in front of the larger vehicle. The impact caused the female passenger to be trapped inside the car and she had to be cut free with the assistance of a team from the St. Thomas Fire Brigade. She was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital for treatment. So people, those are the headlines for this morning. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And as usual, thank you for staying with me until the end of another video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at yardy.tv.official That's yardy.tv.official Follow me on Twitter at yardytvofficial And I will always leave a link in the description where you could join my Telegram group. People, big up on yourself. Until next time, I'm your boy Yardy from Yardy TV. I'm out.